Beaver Valley Christian Academy. We are the Damatha. <laughs> you went to public school. I did. Hmm. Hi, y'all. Mm. What's happening? It's your favorite 15 good minutes right back at you. Kirk here with the one and only. Shy. And today, I don't understand. What's going on you with this school understand. system? I don't. It's a lot going on. I'm gonna just going to sip this right here. You go ahead telling people we talking about. <laughs> he don't get it. Mm. The difference or the reason why we should send our kids to private school, right? Is that That's what you were going to say? Uh, every. Or why there is a choice? I mean, you should have a choice. You okay. should have a choice between, I mean, well, now there's public, private, charter. Charter. Homeschool. Oh, uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But public, in some situations, may be better than private. I feel like socially, in the, like, not in the, in the business world and certain things, like when you put certain high schools you attended on your, on your resume, like or, or your application for college, you know, uh, early jobs, mm -hmm. adolescent jobs, people let you in the door because of the school you go to. True. Same with colleges, you know, like the the people, the fraternity that you or, are linked to, the alumni that you're linked to. You're an athlete. Yeah. The school you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm a product of private school. Mm. That explains <laughs> no, everything. Good more that explains that. everything. I'm actually a, a pub product of a public school. Yeah. I mean, even though I'm a product of private, I'm not sending my kids to private. If I can afford it, I send my child to private. Private. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I was actually approached. So my oldest son, um, just turned 10, was offered an uh, opportunity to go to Bullis. Where's that at? In uh, Gaithersburg. Oh. It's in Montgomery County. Yeah, up there in the north. The tuition, yeah, they are the north. Uh, <laughs> the tuition is like 30 some thousand dollars, though. A year? Yes. Uh, no. See, not right there. But this school runs from kindergarten through, and the kids that come out of there are more than prepared for not just college, but life. How so? The curriculum. The alumni, they take care of, like I said, it's like it's not a secret society. It's not the mm -hmm. Illuminati, like, yeah. but they do take care of and look after one another. Um, huh. And as, as a parent, as a parent, I want the best for my son. So like if he was like we had this conversation, you know, if my son was at my school, my uh, where I'm alumni at to Douglas, all right, whatever. And go Eagles. Anyway, um, <laughs> if he's at Douglas and gets an opportunity to go to Gonzaga, Good Council, DeMatha, I'm, and they're giving money, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to push him in that direction to go private. Because of, now it opens up so much more. For him later. Um, if it's, you know, we shouldn't push our children to be athletes. We should push them to be scholars. But if that if the, how you're going to become a scholar is through athletics, mm -hmm. then I want you to get the most exposure that you possibly could get. And by that, you can do that at DeMatha, Gonzaga, and these other schools than you would at Douglas. Yeah. I, being that I spent all my time in private school, I was in public school for like this much of my life. Um, I just feel as though, so being because you never experienced private school, right? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Early on, uh, elementary. Okay. Yeah. So, I just feel like <laughs> my parents paid a lot of money for me to do the same things I could have done at a public school. They didn't want me to go to the public school in our neighborhood because it wasn't the best, which I understand. I understand. But I ran them teachers ragged at the private school <laughs> on my parents' <laughs> expenses. And I don't want my kids. That's pretty much my reason. I don't want my kids doing all of that stuff on my money. <laughs> So I'll let them go you to know, private you school. You know your kids going to turn out to be like you were or worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't like a terror. But I mean, I made some teachers cry. Mr. I won't say his name. You made him cry. <laughs> I made my teacher cry. So you weren't a terror? <laughs> Sounds like a terrorist to me. Mm. It was a group of us, but I think he was just going. Oh, that makes it better? Like, that makes it better? He just couldn't understand the algebra. He just was like, I give up. And he walked out of the classroom crying. 
I don't believe that. More to this story. <laughs> That's more to this story. We're gonna get back to that, people. <laughs> but I feel like you can. I do agree, like with the names of the schools, and you know, it opens doors for other things. But the experience, the school experience. I mean, you don't have to be at a private school to get that. You know what I mean? I would be cool if all public schools were on the same level, same playing field. Mm. Within certain counties, I can only speak on ones that I know of, but in PG County, yeah. all money in the county seems to be dumped in the, in the Wise at high school. Wise High School. Oh. There are certain elementary mean. schools, certain middle schools that they dump money into those schools in particular. They're not spreading that money throughout. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everywhere. But that's a problem because Very we have so. kids everywhere and all these kids, each child deserves the same opportunity. Very much so. It doesn't matter that my parents live in Beech Tree or in Oak Creek, you know what I'm saying? Nice, well-off communities. And you and, are there. And, and, and I'm there, which those schools sit on the outskirts of those mm -hmm. communities, opposed to the kid who lives down Croon Road and... He doesn't have the opportunity to get over the wise. And uh, but I think I think that's why I, I do like the DC area because you don't have to choose a private school. You can get go to a, get them into a charter school. You know, if your neighborhood school isn't ideal for your for your child. Uh, my biggest hang up is just the only thing difference between right from my experience in private school versus public was just the religious curriculum everything else i was getting i could have gotten at a post school yes i made mean, some of my best friends are from you know my classes at those schools but i wouldn't i wouldn't do it again i don't i'm terrified of charter schools why because they close well first off like the whole application thing i got it cool but then like there's things that are going on in some of these schools that are just horrific. Like you, it wasn't that long ago. I have well, other than what happened at Baloo, or was that was that Baloo where the kid got killed in school Four in fights? There was a fight in school, and they decided if it was I forgot what happened. But there was a school, a DC public school, mm -hmm. where a child was a child died. I ain't gonna Thank say he was murdered, was but it, he he died. Mm -hmm. And then there's but then at that charter school, the little girl hung herself. Oh, at the boarding school. At the boarding school, which is considered a charter. Mm. Um, but I mean, you're going to issues but they, everywhere. You got kids killing themselves in private schools. You know, you got kids hurting each other at private schools, too. So, But if you're a charter, though, you're supposed to be, like, the charter's supposed to be, you know, the, the lesser of the two evils, right? It's supposed to be the, the, the solution. In some eyes, that's what they feel like school's the solution okay so i get the education of the public of the private right i get for free for free the, the price that i would pay at the pu public you see what i'm saying but they can't really i mean if if bullying happens it happens i have a problem with bullying period mm -hmm. but that's like another another, another day mm -hmm. but don't if i'm giving you my child in any school system public private charter i expect to get them back true so, with that, charters off the table. Because I, I just don't feel like they're giving, like, charter almost sells, sounds to me like, like a boarding school. Like, I'm sending them away. Like, it's punishment. No, I don't want to punish my child. Not all charters, you go away. They, I mean, they're True. good schools, like any other school. It's just that, that specific school, the seed school, is a charter boarding school. I don't like it. Yeah, you, I don't want to send my kids away. I don't want that. Because I've just heard bad Baby, stories. I tell you, I don't want y'all to go. But I really don't want y'all to go nowhere. I love you. <laughs> but no, like you could go to a charter school like Ingenuity Prep or, and they, they go home every day. So then like, okay, so then what's their curricular and their criteria for you to get into these schools? They're all set in their own way. So like the charter schools, the difference between a public school and a charter school, a charter school is ran like a business. You have your CEO and it's ran like a business. The, the slippery slope you face with a charter school is you, they might close the next year. It's just always up. It's how the business is going. So that's the slippery slope with a charter school. And then for teachers, you don't know if your contract's going to be renewed or not. They can let you go whenever they want if they feel like you are not um, producing what they need you to produce. Or, you know what I mean? That's the difference. But, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't like it. 
you just have that a sounds really funny. great charter school. Like, there's an amazing charter school. Amazing. That's what I said. I have a cough drop in my mouth, y'all. That's what you're supposed to do this. If I had a piece of paper. Under my tongue? Hey, somebody, someone from the audience pass me a tissue, please. <laughs> no, I put it under my tongue. Shouldn't even be in your mouth. <laughs> so, like, um, in Georgia, there's a charter school called Ron Clark Academy. Phenomenal school. Phenomenal. Like, like I wanted to work there. Like I would plan to move to work there. You plant to move. Planned to you said move. Plant. D and a T were next to each other. Mm. <laughs> I planned to move. See how it works. Move to work there, but it's all project-based learning. So these kids are getting the curriculum that they need, the academics that they need, but they're also using this to create projects that they can use in their life. So like, there's another charter school in California called I Lead. It's a project-based learning school where these kindergartners are taking all their math knowledge, all their science knowledge, everything that they're learning in their grade level and building their own playground based on that knowledge. And they're going to actually, you know, benefit from the fruits of their, their skills that they've learned. You ain't going to get that at no public school. You might get it at a private school for $40,000, but why when you got All private schools right don't there, cost that I much. I know, but I'm but saying, but that one specifically was $37,000. Like, like Sidwell Friends is one of those other ones. It's like 30 Sidwell. something. Yeah. Sidwell, yeah, and the president's kids go there. Like, you know what I mean? But it's a good place you got to a free school though. that's giving you the same thing, and it's a charter school. The kids still come home every day, and they come home with knowledge and experience that your other kids next door ain't getting, and you ain't paying a penny. They just got into a lottery system and got in. I um, like charter school. Yes, me. Six in her rugrats. But you should look up Ron Clark Academy. It's a really great school. My children aren't going there, and I'm it's not moving really to Atlanta. School. It's outside of Atlanta, but I ain't moving to Georgia. I'm down here. Hat. It's pretty amazing. And traffic's terrible. It is. That is that. But so I'm then, like, so then we'll go with the public to the private thing. Like, there is financial aid. They will help you. They I will. Do. Yeah, like and the schools, yeah, they will take kids and they'll pay for it. And this does help. This does assist in the process. I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of torn. Me torn. Like, like, like my my kids right now, they're in Montgomery County, which Montgomery County is one of the better, better school systems. Well, yeah, Maryland yeah, was in number Maryland. one on the on the school. Which list. surprised me. Virginia over, was over, four. Virginia was four, which that surprised me. DC, I don't know. Well, it must have been down a little bit more. Uh -huh. I don't know. With what just with, with what happened? Four. I'm not what with happened with Balu? <laughs> Sips beer. <laughs> Y'all, I can't say it right. I'm not from DC, so I don't. Ba. Ba. Lou. Lou Balu. <laughs> she ain't trying. She ain't like trying. Like Balu, right. like the bear on Jungle Book. That's what that's what I think of. Balu. Did I say it? All right, Glizzy. <laughs> 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 but you know, I just I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. If my depending on where they're at, Anne Arundel, one of the better counties, Montgomery County, one of the better counties. PG, not so proud of. So, okay, question. So these are good counties, right? Are they majority made up of people that do not look like your children? And would you want your child to be in a demographic where they don't have anybody look like them? Catch twenty two with that. Yeah. Two sided two sided coin with that one. The society that they live in. They already everyone doesn't look like them. The work world that they're going to, the workforce that they ain't going to, everyone would not look like you. You know, that which you know, I don't know what college you went to, but I, I'm not really a fan of the going to That's HBCU. To I'm not really a fan of going to HBCU. <clears throat> society is not an HBCU community. Yes, the HBC community sticks together, but I don't just, get a lot of comments tonight. Bro. I'm pretty sure, and I, I welcome them. But I'm just saying, personally, I would not send my child to an HBCU. It wouldn't be their. It, it wouldn't be my top choice for them. Where they go, I support by all means. And like I have family that you know, Aggie pride. You know, North Carolina A and T. I love the Aggies. I really do. No, <laughs> I love them. I love the Aggies. You know, G Ho, all of that stuff is great stuff. You know, um, Winston Salem, Ram Nation, y'all some good peoples down there as well. <laughs> but um, even Bowie State, I mean, like HBCUs are heavy here. Coppin, uh, Bowie, Morgan, Morgan Howard. Howard, 
You know, like it's a strong HBCU community. I just for my child is you not where I, I wouldn't I Does wouldn't you want feel them like to go they first. Won't be prepared? It's not a matter of won't be prepared, but again, like I said earlier, when people associate your name, when they associate in a school with, you know what I'm saying? I want you to look at the application and just pick out the best candidate and don't write them off the list because but, of the school that they went to. This. Let me tell you this. As easily as you're saying that somebody can judge you on your resume based off of the school that you went to, like at HBCU, they're easily already judging you by the way that you look. Even if you went to a Harvard or a, or an Ivy League school, you can have that on your resume and still not get it because you don't look like them. So I don't feel like that really that really lessens your your chances of getting a great job. You you walk in and they automatically see who you are, and that automatically can turn for the worst or it can be an eye opener for that for that boss, right? But I got an opportunity to walk in. Sometimes all you need is an opportunity to get your foot through the door. Nah, I gotta disagree with you. On I that. mean, that's fine. That's what we're here for. And yeah. then, you know, follow, folks follow and the I mean, audience is going you crazy got, too. You could have had just the opportunity to walk in just off of your name. Like, mm -hmm. my name is Shema. Uh, it's not because I don't tell my name on air. But my name is oh, oh, a European last name, right? I get opportunities all the time to walk through the door based on my name. Mm -hmm. When they see my hair and they see my skin complexion, it's a different story. It's even, I've even gotten, you know, questions. Um, Oh, I'm waiting for um, another appointment. Oh, th it's me. <laughs> and they don't, they have to check and look like, really look into if that's really me. If I was the name on the resume. I'll double check if you came yeah. in my office anyway. <laughs> <Just being honest. laughs> but I mean, so, yes, I mean, I've heard that argument, you know, before. Even when I was searching for colleges, I heard it from some people. But, I mean, you can't change it. You can't change your race. No, you can't. You know, so... I and I can't change society either. That, yeah. We can try to adapt, though. But I went to a PWI, a predominantly white institution. I could have I could have gone anywhere. I chose a PWI. Mm. But my experience at a PWI, I stuck with the black kids anyway. You know, I stuck with the black kids. And that's fine. But you, you, you face different struggles at a PWI that do grow you in a certain way. But you went and faced them at an HBCU, but I don't say that if I went to an HBCU, my character would have been different or my skill set or my experience level would have been different. You know what I mean? Understood. Um, I mean, I did. I learned how to fight at a PWI. Not like fist fight, but like, you know, grow, just it grew me how to be a strong leader, an African-American leader at a PWI because you had to. But I think I still would have got that at the HBCU and I might have been stronger because I'm surrounded by all those people with that same mindset. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> education is education. True. Whether it be PWI, HBCU. I right? agree. <laughs> that I agree. Don't go to the school just because that's everybody that looks like me. Go to the school that has the best program to put you where you're supposed exactly. to be. So if you want to be a politician and Georgetown's on the plate, that's where we're looking to go to. Mm -hmm. We're not going to look to go to a science and tech HBCU because that's not what you want to do in the end. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to go four years to school, come out with a degree that you can't use in the field that you're exactly. trying to go into. Exactly. Always have your future in mind, your, your progress in mind. Exactly. And an HBCU can... It can offer that if their their education and that or their specified skill set, like if it's nursing, go go to that HBCU, right? You know, uh, it's a menu out here. It's the smorgasbord. We ain't gonna talk too deep about this school, but Winston Salem is like one of the top schools for nursing. Deep, you know, yeah, you know, Aggie pride, you know. But yeah, you know, so you would go there, and then you, and then too, you do have people that are not black trying to get into these HBCUs Definitely. because yeah. of their programs. Right, so just that because of their programs. You, you know, that tells you about what their programs are and, and the, the um, what is it, the accolades that they receive, right? So, yeah. you know, I do I do know people do look at resumes for specific names, but some PD, PWIs that are on resumes, nobody know what they are either. You mm. know what I mean? So, yeah, but I do agree with you on that, brother. Education is education. If somebody is offering you the best education possible and you can attain that, Go for it. If that child is willing to open a book and go get more education, <laughs> support that. <laughs> Definitely that. support that. Yeah, 
yeah, man. Yeah, so <laughs> this dialogue is great. I I appreciate your viewpoint. I appreciate just having you with me. Because you we are like the yin and the yang. Apple Scrabble. There you go. There it is. So uh, we would love to read your comments, right? I don't know. Your thoughts? <laughs> we, I want to read them. I, I do. I want to read them. You read them. So I'll read them and then I'll just... I'll just... uh. Fish through them and send them. No, don't send them. I don't no, want to. I don't want to know. Okay. Anyway, no, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's a little too spicy. No, yeah. no way. <laughs> Ignorance is so, bliss. <laughs> Y'all can comment below. You know, you know the drill. We do it every every week. Um, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Shot show Bob underscore. Share it with a friend. Mm -hmm. Cracking out. Yep. Yeah, there and we go. We'll see you next week. That's right. Toodle without toodle. without the mouth. Uh, without the cough drop. Yeah, no, yeah, no call y'all. I'll be well. I claim it. I will be well next week. Please, she had this cold all month. <laughs> See ya. Peace. <laughs>